We just found out today that he was accepted to the first wave scholarship to Wisconsin. So we are... Yeah, yeah, big stuff, man. There's a, there's a, a program in Wisconsin University, if I believe, it's the, called the First Wave. It's a poetry program. He applied, he got accepted, and he'll be going to Wisconsin for free on this, uh, this scholarship. So please give it up for my man, Gary Polly. Hello, hello, how's it going in here? How's it going here, tight stirs? I want to spit a poem, um, and I want to say it's going to be blueberry-tastic, okay? <laughs> it has been a year and a half since you spread that rumor. I lusted for you, but I told you I loved you, scared of some reason that if I didn't show you from the start, you wouldn't give me the time or day. I walked you down the stairs to our fitness center. You said you left some to torn socks and worn t-shirts and you needed to take them for laundry. I readily accepted the offer of accompanying you. I would do anything for you. And you knew that. I walked you down the stairs to our fitness center. It was as empty as my worn down second hand wallet. I felt brave enough to enter the female locker room with you. Brave enough to let you enter my soul. This is what love is, right? I do not know how it happened. Teenage hormones, or the look into each other's eyes that we were lovers behind enemy lines and we only had each other to embrace as bombs exploded around us, we kissed and it felt magical. This, this right here is what love is. Our lips collided like atoms and bombs until you realized that you had to go to class right now and you left me. I did not understand you just used me for the moment, dumbfounded in my own personal victory of getting closer to this girl who I believed I loved, abandoned at the first sight of something else to you. I was a doormat of a man. And in a couple of days, you spread a little white lie and it grew. It grew like cancerous cells. Do you remember what it was? You spread the rumor that I forcefully raped and molested you that day in the female locker room for so long I've held this in still. People ask me if it is true. They ask if a rumor from a year and a half ago is true. It is like verbal, verbal assaults catapulted from across the room. I'm torn apart like a flea-ridden carcass. Tears should go down my face like honey on glass jars. Where am I going and where am I headed? I'm not like I was before. Now I am reserved, I have new challenges to face, how difficult it is to want to love when all you have been is lied to, how beautiful love is when you think of it like that, how difficult it is to want to trust when all you have been is lied to, how beautiful, how precious trust is when you think of it like that. I do not know where I'm going, but I've begun to gut barrel laugh again, cackle and smile at the immensity this life may bring me, and I know that I have a community that I serve and I do it unconditionally, and I once thought that I loved you, how foolish of me. But you open my mind to what love can be and hope to become broken in my interior like a shattered mirror. I pick up the remaining shards by picking up the broken dreams of my desert city. The warm breeze rolls up the valleys of my heart and my neighborhood. One in the same, I have set out to establish positive expression in all facets of my life. I love my mentors. I love my community. I love my friends. I love my family. I love what I do and for that, I can only give you thanks they say. The most beautiful struggles are the most concise measures of character from the, from the behind the back remarks, forgotten friendships. They say forgive and forget, but I cannot unleash the memories that reside in my subconscious, so I must forgive, so I must understand, so I must move on for that. I thank you. Thank you. I like I like to um, bring up my really good friend, fellow poet from Phoenix. You guys are gonna love her. This is we made up a new nickname for her in the car, and she's probably gonna love this. <laughs> Welcome up, everybody from Types. Welcome up, Rosie Spit.